Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. Now, um, if you are new here, please like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime we post a new video. And also give this video a thumbs up and also uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, okay, so the we are given a question over here which is basically on central limits because you can see that the question is basically on normal distribution as you can see it said s approximate the normal distribution into bracket 12 and 5 where 12 becomes the um the new and then 5 is the standard deviation so um let's look at it and then the question is that we should find the value of s no such that we are given these probabilities so in this case what we are trying to do is to solve the inverse normal distribution so we are looking at the inverse of a normal distribution so we are given that s is a, a positive equal to the normal distribution 12 and out of 5 and then what we will call from the formula the normal distribution formula so if it's a normal distribution we have this so which means that comparing this formula to what we have here right or we compare that uh, we have mu and that of the standard deviation so therefore we can conclude that mu is just 12 and then we have this to be 5 so this is basically um, a normal distribution um, a normal distribution um, question here and then the first question says that what is the probability that s is greater than s not equal to 0 0.05 so in this case we are given um s uh, greater than s not equal to 0 0.05 so we realize that we are solving the inverse of a normal distribution if this were to be a normal um probability we realize that p will be uh, let's say um, z less than a certain value let's say five uh, let's say um, 0 0.51 and then what we do is that we go to the z table and then uh, look at um, 0 0.5 on the right hand side and then we look at um, 0 0.01 at the top and then we trace it to that particular value and that will give us the probability here but then in this case we are already given a probability and then we are to find what the um, the initial condition was before we got this probability right so that's basically what we are doing now if you look at the question over here it said s is greater than s not so already we have the proper when s is greater than um whatever you are given and which means that it becomes one minus um, the probability of that always it becomes one minus always when it is greater but in a situation where it is less we just quickly take um, check the um, the value straight but then when it is greater we do one minus the probability of that now what is remember we are looking for this so we have p of x greater than s not here being equal to 0 0.05 and then when this goes to the other side it becomes negative one and therefore p of s uh, s greater than s not is equal to so we have 0 0.5 minus um, that is just going to go as 0 0.95 So we have um, 0 0.9, so it becomes 1 minus 0 0.05 here, being equal to the probability of S greater than S naught. So over here we have 0 0.95 being equal to the probability of S greater than S naught. So we have this probability here. And then so this is what we have. Now what we have to do next is now go back to the table. Now we have the probability, the, uh, the probability is up. Now, we then go back to the table and look at what um, the probability of this is so we look at the probability of um, 0 0.95 and then when we trace it using the z table so from the z table um, on the screen you can see that uh, when we trace the whole thing is by 1.6 that is a positive z table 1.6 by 0 0.05 on the positive z table so in this case we have s not here being equal to 0 0.05 plus uh, 1.6 that is 1.6 on the right hand side and then also 0 0.5 at the top it, there so s knows when we add everything we are just going to get 1.65 that so which means that the probability that s is greater than the s naught which was now we, we add to be 1.65 here is equal to um 
0 0.05 and then so what we have we just did was to solve the reverse rather where we are given the probability and now we have to solve what the initial condition was before we add the probability so this is an inverse normal distribution now let's look at the second question so in the second part of the question it says that we should find the probability that s is less than s naught which is equal to 0 0.9 in this case so we realize that in this case um, we have um, s not less than um, s uh, less than s not so basically we just go straight and look at look at for what 0 0.98 the possibility value of 0 0.98 on the z table on the z table so if you look at on, on the z table the positive part of the z table that is the picture you see on the screen if you trace everything you realize that 0 0.9 the positive value of 0 0.9 is um, um around 2 on the right hand side and then 0 0.06 on the um at the top there so we have 2 plus 0 0.06 here and then we will add everything we have 2.06 here so s not here will just be 2.06 here so that is the s not that is b now if you look at c c uh, we said we should find the probability that s is also less than s naught, which is equal to 0 0.20. So, since it is less, we just go straight and then find um, the um, the probability of 0 .0, 0 0.20 approximately, right? So, if you look on the screen again, realize that when we trace everything, we are just going to have the s not going to be uh, it will be um, negative two on the right hand side. And then it's just going to be negative uh, 0 0.05 at the top there. So we have negative 2.05 here. As that. Now, the, for the D part, we have S um, less than S naught. So in this, which is, so is greater. That's the D part. It's greater than S naught equal to 0.09 so since it is greater again what we have to do is to make it less so it becomes 1 minus the probability that s is less than s naught right equal to that so making this the subject um we had 1 minus 0 0.90 being equal to the probability that s is that so now the probability that s is less than s naught will be equal to when we subtract that then we have 0 0.10 so since we have this now we look at what this is on the the probability of this on the um, z table so we look at the positive value of 0 0.10 then again if you look on the screen when you trace 0 0.10 the positive value then that is just going to be um, negative 1.2 on the right hand side and then at the top there is just going to be negative 0 0.08 which is just going to be negative 1.2 8 and that will be the value so basically that's it for today so what we just did was to solve the inverse of a normal distribution so thank you very much for joining me in this section i hope this session was helpful uh, please like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to notify anytime we post a new video and i'll see you in the next video which is um, we'll still continue the normal looking at uh, normal distribution but then in a different way